All righty. Hey, Lynn, let me get us kicked off with a little something here first, if you don't mind. Okay. Um, so everyone, if you haven't been in the Canton studio, um, the, we moved to the private training room. It's really uh, unexplainable. Uh, something about these noon classes, we've been having to hang up with our internet feed. It's really not anything that we have pinned down now. So we've been um, we've been playing with some things like hardwiring an ethernet cord and, and moving the iPad off the ground and moving it to a different side of the room and all this stuff. Um, so we may switch the class time. I don't know, we'll see how today goes, but um, it's, it's really uh, something we've been struggling with. So hopefully today goes great. We're working on it for you. Uh, Lynn, thanks for coming in early. And uh, oh, I thought that was her house. Jeez, <laughs> Natalie, what do you think? She's got a 4,000 square foot house. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but anyways, uh, Lynn, it's all yours. Uh, glad to see you laughing here this morning. Keep it light, enjoy the Friday. <laughs> All right. So I figure since I'm in here, um, I might as well explain some toys and tricks. So in the back corner over there is called the ladder barrel. So it's an arc and things you can do on that are extensions or things. Uh, right here is the Cadillac. That's the Grand Dame of the Pilates equipment. We use that for private and you can do literally anything on that. Something that you guys can't see is called the arc. So again, that's for core work, um, something we would do in a private. So just figured I'd explain that. Why not? And there's also Heidi back there is a boost of all, all sorts of fun things. But anyway. Uh, hey, okay, hey so Lynn, Lynn you're, Lynn, you're in a flow here, but I tell you what, for what? how much we've struggled this week, it is great to be able to see and hear you this morning. The video <laughs> oh, sounds God. great. Enjoy, no. <laughs> you guys. Enjoy this class. All right. <laughs> so, okay, so I have today, um, I have a TheraBand, and we're going to use it to kind of simulate the reformer. So if you don't have it, I would say um, just try to be in touch with your muscles and try to really contract them as much as you can. Uh, and you can get them at Target or Walmart or anything like that. And then I also brought in cans today, uh, just so that if you guys don't have hand weights, you can use those, but we're gonna use both today. So I'm gonna keep my TheraBands close to me. I have two sizes. Um, that's just because I'm in the studio. But let's start standing. We'll just start out nice and easy. This isn't how it's going to start today, but <laughs> is what it is. Chest up, spine tall. We'll start off with squats. Raise and lower, up and down. Bicep curls, equal weight in those feet. Raise and lower, up and down. So hopefully you guys will be able to see and hear me better. I think this is just sign the times, but hopefully we can keep this 11.30. If not, maybe we'll move it. Of course, we want feedback from you guys as to what you're looking for. In six, and five, and four, and three, and two. Hold it down there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good second position feet. Let's go into a turnout. We're gonna take plies with chest flies, in and out, up and down. We'll do a little bit of balance challenges. Shoot, shoot, Sally, say that again. I can't see you. Sound good? Yeah, 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 I hope, I hope, I hope. You guys come in on your comments and it goes away too quickly. Eight, seven, six, Five, in four, hold it down in three, and two, and good, hold it down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and good. I'm gonna do sumo squats, so that means that I'm wider than my usual stance. Arms out, palms up, extend down, squeeze at the top. We're just gonna do about 20 of these. Counting down, this is 20 from here. So a little bit wider, sticking that butt out. This is 17 and 16. 
Breathe in. Woo. I was still sore from my class the other day. 10, 9, 8, 7, this is 6, this is 5, 4, and 3, and 2, and good. If you have weights, arms out to the side, even if you don't, let's take little baby circles, priming those shoulders, small, tight circles. Counting down, 20, 19, 18, 17. Breathing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and reversing on that one count. We are just going to do a teeny tiny bit more of a warm up after this. Just with your ankles warming up. 5, 4, 3, 2, good. Set your weights down. Let's work on balance. If you need something to hold on, fine. If not, lift up on your high heels, rock it back down, toes lift. Up on the tiptoes, rock it back. In five, up for four, up for three, up for two. Last one, stay up there, stay on those toes. In five, and four, and three, ooh, falling, and two. And good, let's go to B feet, heels together. Squeeze those ankles together, down into your plie, squeeze at the top, down into your plie, squeeze at the top. In six, in five, up for four, up for three, up for two, and let's hold your plie down. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, good. Shaking out those legs. I want you to grab your band or grab your weights, whatever you have at your use. So I just put that underneath my feet and I stepped into a wide stance, palms facing up, bicep curl in. We're gonna add in in just a second when we go back to squats. Breathing. In five, up for four, up for three, up for two, adding in. So same thing as we did before. Raise and lower, up and down. If you just have weights, of course, that's how you are modifying. Or 10, and nine, and eight. This is seven, breathing. Five, four, three, and two. And good, taking it to the mat. So I'm gonna be seated, getting those weights out of the way. I want you to have your band wrapped around your feet. Flex those heels, palms are facing down. I want that spine tall, lengthen out to the side, draw back in. Lengthen it out, draw back in. So we would be doing this on the reformer. Palms go back and back. In five, in four, we're gonna add on in three and two. And good, so I just adjusted my feet just a little bit. Why? Because I wanna make this harder. So I'm gonna lower it down so that it's on the arches, like the balls of the feet kind of arches. We're gonna add in a roll down. So take it back halfway, I'm gonna adjust myself and come forward. So round down, arms go out, lift up nice and tall. Pull it in, pull it out. In four, and three, and two. Hold it back there, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And good, we're gonna take that band or place something in between your knees. We're gonna move on to your bridge series and your ab series. I am double wrapping this. You know, this one's long, if yours is not long. And if you're ahead of me, go ahead, lay on down. Hip width distance apart, face up. So I just put some tension because that wasn't heavy enough for me. 
I want you to separate those legs out, round it in and up, or even if you have a ball. Lower it down, lift up, push out with those legs. Lower it down, lift up, push out. In six, up for five, up for four, up for three, up for two. Next time you're up there, if you have a ball, you're squeezing in. If you have a band, you're pushing out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stay up there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I want you to tap down, lift up. Tap down, lift up. So everything drops, everything lifts, everything drops, everything lifts. Four, five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up. Hold on that one count. Let's raise and float those hands in five and four and three and two and peel that spine down. Let's move on. I just move my feet in just a little bit closer. Palms facing one another still. Let's raise it up. Reach for the outsides of those knees. Push that belly down and lower down. Lift up. Maybe hands go a little bit lower. Inhale back. In six. Putting pressure on that band or squeezing that ball in five. And four. Or maybe you have a pillow in three. And two. Hold it up there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good. Let's tuck those hands underneath that booty just a little bit underneath your hips. I just loaded my legs up into a tabletop position. If you have a ball, you're squeezing in or a pillow. If you have a band, you're pushing out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Return to tabletop position. My knees just went in front of my hips. I want you to reach up, diamond shape with those hands. Squeeze, hold. 8, point those toes. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And we're going to change the position of that band. To be honest, my band isn't tight enough, so I'm going to have to go wider. Let's rest your head, flex those heels. I'm going to support my back just a little bit. I want you to pulse out, or if you have something in between your ankles, you are squeezing in. Flex those heels out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it. Squeeze, hold. Or you're just flexing your muscles in five, and four, and three. And two, I'm going to flow my head up and I'm going to support my neck, chin to chest. Let's draw those knees into bent, extend out, drive through the heels. Flex those heels in six, in five, so parallel, four, and three, and two. And good, let's rest that head, but go to a turnout with your feet. So my feet just went out. I'm going to support my glutes. Same thing, same movement. Extend out, squeeze, bend in. Extend out, squeeze, drive through the heels. You can make this as easy or as challenging as you want it to. Remember, you're doing the work. Five, four, and three, and two. Extend out. I want you to put pressure on those bands or squeeze, hold in in five, four, three, two. Little pulses. Five, four, three, two. Good. Let's take it back up to 90. Internal rotation. So if you have something instead in between your knees or you have those bands, extend down and up. How about we do five, four, three, and two, I'm going to float my head up, internal rotation. Let's take it in and out. Put toes are pointed in. I still have a flex in my heel. In five, and four, and three, and two, and good. Okay, let's get you off of your back. Set that band to the side. And I want you to uninterlace it if you have it laced. So uninterlace it because we're going to use that later and you're going to need it later. Moving on. Let's move on to arm work. We're going to do body work 
just with your arms. I'm gonna start, I might have done this the other day, so I'm on my knees. You can be in full push up if you would like. I just brought my hands in super close. Let's start off with modified plank. So my elbows are glued in to my chest. In five, drop your hips a little bit deeper for me, please. Four, three, two, let's begin to lower just a little bit down. Five, four, three, two, push up. Five, four, three, two, on that one count, drop it down. Five, four, tricep push up. Three, two, push it up. Five, four, three, two, final one. Five, four, three, two, push it up. Rest it out, child's pose. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's go wide. So full wide, full extension all the way out. Holding your plank, drop those hips down. Five, four, chest up, three, two, take it halfway down, maybe a little bit deeper. Five, four, three, two, push up. Five, four, three, two, on that one count, we have two more. Drop it a little lower, maybe. Five, four, three, two, lift it up, toes are pointed. Five, four, three, two, last count. Five, four, three, two, push up on that one count. Five, four, three, two, take a break. All right, we have two more in the series. So palms are gonna face in. So if we were on the reformer, we would be doing arm work on the box, okay? So palms facing in, hold it down. Fingertips facing in, five, four, three, two. You can always go back to parallel. I'm gonna walk my hands in a tiny bit closer to make that more challenging. Five, four, three, two. Push it up. Last one. Five, four, three, two. Push it up. Five, four, three, two. Take a break. Stretch out those wrists for me, please. One and then the other. Last in the series. Just try to give me this time. I promise that we're going to get good arms. Once we go out, you're going to be like, oh, man, the gun show is in town. All right, so let's get the guns. Diamond shape, last in the series. You got this. Down for five, four, three, two. Push it up. Five, four, three, two. Take it down. Two more sets. Push it up. Last one. Five, four, three, two. Push it up and hold for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, take it all the way down. I want you to interlace your hands back behind you. Lift everything up, chest expansion. So I just hold on to my wrists. Five, four, three, two, take it down. Switch wrists. Lift up and hold. Five, four, three, two, and good. Shake out those wrists. Hands by your sides for me, please. Let's just do a little bit of super mani. Lengthen out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Push your hips back. Hold. Five, four, three, two. And good. We're going to do side series next, but I want to give those wrists a break for a minute. So in the meantime, we're just going to do a little bit of ab work. I just extended my legs out behind, I'm sorry, out in front of me. I want you to reach out. Come in. Reach out, come in, in four, up, in three, up, in two, up, last one. Let's round it all the way down. Let's just do a little bit of core work. So instead of just reaching up towards the center, I want you to take it over to one side, but flex those heels, hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on that one count, come into the center. Other side, hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on that one count, come into the center. Let's bend those knees in, bring them in a little bit closer. Over, back to that same side we started on, in five, and four, and three, and two, come into center. Five, four, three, two, switch, five, four, three, two, and good, into center. Let's stay in the center, pulse it up. 10, nine, eight, push that belly down for seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and rest it out. One more time, let's just hold it up. Chin towards that chest, but not down. Five, four, three, two, and good. Hug those knees in, let's rock it all the way up. Grab onto your band or anything that's gonna give you tension. And we're gonna be on to your side. So, gonna give you guys options today. I was testing this out the other day, grab water if you need it. And what I realized is that I like to actually be all the way down like this. So bottom leg is gonna be bent. We're gonna do single leg stairs. So this will be side stairs on the reformer. So that foot is in. So this is where I liked it the most. I tried it up here, that's good too, it's harder, right? And I'm gonna bend halfway in, extend out. So you can play with this, right? So my knee is just slightly up a little bit higher than it would be on the reformer in five. I'm on, stuck on a five count today, four, three, pulling on that band. You can make it as tight or as loose as you want it. Let's turn that foot out on that one count. I'm just pulling up a little bit tighter to make that harder for me. Extend out, so you're in an outward rotation. We're working today on internal and external rotation in case you didn't notice or get the memo in five. And today is sponsored by the number five, <laughs> clearly four, three, and two minutes because it's Friday. Last one, let's flex that heel, take it down, pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Internal rotation, pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and good. So if that starts to bug your hand, you can always lighten up or you can always switch hands. I'm gonna tap down, lift up, and then I'm gonna turn in. Raise and lower, up and down. So this, this band is tricky because you don't know until like you'll feel it later. And you're like, oh, so I'm drawing a figure eight. They are tricky. In five, and again, you can do this with no band. And four, and three, and two, and let's lay face up. So I'm gonna have one knee bent. I'm raising my head up. I'm gonna draw that knee in and out. So I just hold, held on to both bands. You can also rest your head on this one. And five, and four. Drive it out, go through that heel. Three, and two. And again, external rotation. So same movement, I just doubled up on that one just to make it harder. You can again rest that head if it starts to bug you. Four, three, two, internal rotation. That's gonna hit you just a little bit. You're gonna have to play with it. Four, three, two, flex that heel, take it up. External rotation, take it down, figure eight, internal rotation. Take it down, internal rotation. We're gonna do face up, so I just rested my neck because it was bugging me. Three, and two, and good. I want you to take both feet into your band, flex that heel, raise that head up, and I want you to double up on that band, pull that towards you. Five, stretch, four, three, two, take that foot out. So opposite leg. Draw it down, I'm resting my head on this one just to give my leg a break. So we're doing single leg work, face up, opposite leg in and out. Four, three, two, external rotation. Five, four, three, two, internal rotation. I'm trying to do this so I don't forget my set. <laughs> so, because you taking my classes, you know I'm, I'm already on to the next thing in my head. Okay, flex that heel, raise it up. I'm lifting up my head on this one, you don't have to. Figure eight, down and up, down and up. Really, we're just working on it. You can also reverse that if that feels better. I don't like it reverse, I can't get that. Three and two 
And good. Let's place both feet back into it. Stretch up, flex those heels. I want you to raise and lower just a little bit. Five, up four, up three, up two. Last in the series. Let's take V feet, frog legs, heels together. I just pulled in and up on that band. Extend it out, squeeze, inner thighs working. You can rest your head if you would like. And then come right back up. Honestly, that's the best way to strengthen your neck is when you rest it for a second and then you come right back up in four. In three and two and good. Back into frog legs. I'm going to rest my neck on this one and just pulse my knees out. Five, four, three, two, good. Let's take it to the other side. Okay. Resting down, big flex in that heel. Again, we'll see if I can remember all this. Take it in and out. So this is level two. This is level one. This would be your advanced. How about I give my hand a break and just come up onto my elbow in this one, driving through the heel. Let's try that out. In five from here and four from here, and three from here, and two from here, internal rotation, in and out. In five, and four, and three, and two. Let's flex that heel, draw it down, internal. Raise and lower, in and out. Breathing, four, Three and two. And I know we didn't do this on the other side, or I feel like we didn't, but we're going to do it on this side. So I want you to lay on all the way down, bring both feet in. So I'm up onto my elbow, and you're going to take frog legs. We're going to open and close. Four, three, two. Raise that up, opposite knee, up and down. Four, three, two, and feet legs together. Extend that out. I want you to lay all the way down, pull it in and up on those straps. Let's flex those heels, lift it up, lower it down. This is sideline banana in five, and four, and three, and two, and good. Okay, set that band to the side for me. Let's come up onto all fours, shake out those wrists for me. Let's round it in and up with your spine. I'm gonna pull my legs, flash you guys, round it in and up. Neutral, stick your butt out, round it in and up. Neutral, stick your butt out, two more. Last one, let's grab onto your weight or onto your cans. Been doing these lately, so I'm on my knees, but you can also be seated. So this would uh, simulate kind of us being on the reformer. I'm just giving my hands a break with the band for a second, but I'm stretching out the front of my quads. You're gonna lift up, serve your tray, take it back down. Lift up, squeeze. Again, you can be seated if you would like. Squeezing at the top. In five. And four. And three. And two, next time you're up there, let's open and close. So close that in, take a seat down. Lift up, so I just squeeze my booty out to the sides and down. Open, exhale, close, inhale, drop back down, two more. Open, close, last one. Let's stay up there. I'm gonna to turn towards you guys so you can see me. I want you to open your arms out to the sides. Palms flip in. If you have weights, if it gets too much, just rest your weights. Full post arms in and out. So try to watch it because like I can see usually on the reformer, so keep going you guys. Usually on the reformer what I see is people tend to go wide. Equal weight. And I can't see myself in the mirror, but I can kind of see myself on camera. Straight up, straight down. Four, three, two, 
And good, let's take diamond shape with those hands right into the forehead, push out and in, staying up. In six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and good. If you have weights, you can keep them in your hands. If you have a band, I'm gonna go to my, my tighter band for me, but if you have weights, palms are facing down. If you have a band, bands extending out, push out, pull in, push out, lengthen, pull in, in five, and four, and three, and two, on that last one, let's go all the way up above your head. I want you to take it over to one side, stretch that out, lengthen that out. Four, three, two, come into center. Other side, five, four, three, two, and good. We're gonna take it seated, moving on with arm and ab series. Knees are gonna be bent. So I'm gonna flip my palms up. If you have weights, that's fine. We're gonna take a bicep curl. Lift and lengthen. So I can't go back very far because you get kind of scared that you're going to fall. You can always prop something back behind your back. Three. And two. And uh, let's hold it back there. Little presses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Set that band to the side. I'm going to draw my knees just a little bit deeper and take a quick spine stretch. Four. Three, two, and good. Hands into prayer. We're going to take little Russian twists. Side to side. So I'm not back very far at all because we want to wield that waist. I'm kind of obsessed with these lately. So I want to tell you guys about a victory that I had because we're going to do that arm movement in just a second. Five, four, three, two. Stay to one side. Little presses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Switch it. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, come into center. All right, shake out those wrists. If you have weights, great, grab a weight. If not, I'm gonna use my band on this one, okay? If you have a longer band, if you have just a small band, you're just gonna take it here. If you have a longer band, like I do, I'm coming onto my knees, and I'm gonna double up. Palms facing in, I want you to extend out, and in, extend out, so we can't do that. So I can't do it all the way, because I don't have it correctly set up. But obviously the goal is, is to get that length out, up, 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 draw your sword. So this is what I want to talk about. So before the whole quarantine break, do I have crazy hair, you guys? Sorry if I do. Three, two, switch arms, switch sides. So before the quarantine break, I had been doing nearly enough reformer Pilates for me. I was just kind of being lazy. So drawing your sword up and down. This is side series, arm series. And I did my own workout at the studio. So we're at what? Seven weeks? Eight weeks? Seven weeks? But I couldn't do drawing a sword. I just wasn't strong enough. And by the way, if we were on the reformer, I'd want you guys here. But we have a band. Last one. We want you to pull on to those straps, and I just want you to lift up and hold. Palms are facing me, we're gonna pulse it up. So I couldn't do it, right? I just wasn't strong enough, and that was so different for me because my whole Pilates career, quote, I'd always been able to do it. Yesterday, two days ago, yup, I was like, ooh. So, little victories, right? Four, up three, up two, Good, set that band to the side. Moving on from there, grab water if you need it. I need it. Again, we're gonna stay on those knees. You can be standing if you would like. Kneeling work. Let's take those hands. I want you to stagger them out in front of you. Flex that heel, opposite elbow, extend out. Opposite elbow, flex that heel. So try to really pull it in, extension. Pull it in, extension. So kind of in between the two. Four, and three, and two, 
and switch legs in, flex out, in, flex out. Exhale as you pull in. Again, you can be doing this standing, just pulling your knee in, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Five. In four, in three, and two, and good. Okay, let's give those wrists and knees a break. We're gonna lay all the way down onto that mat. Let's go ahead and extend one leg up, bend the opposite knee in, lift that glute up, point towards the ceiling, hold, five, four, three, two, on that one count, stay up there, flex that heel, five, four, three, two, replace that leg down, hold up in your bridge, five, four, three, two, take it all the way down, lift up that opposite leg, point that toe, lift up and hold, flex that heel, five, four, three, two, and replace that down, I want you to squeeze your inner thighs, come up just a little bit higher for me, heels together, knees together, let's open those knees out to the side, Close them together. Open out. Close together. In four. And three. And two. And hold those knees open. Pulse them. Glute work. Inner outer thighs working. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Draw those knees together. We're going to put this together. I want you to float your head up, lift up into a bridge, open, close, draw everything down. Float that head up, bridge, open, close, just one more, float it up, open, close, and land. Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and raise and float that head up, chin to chest, float your legs up, heels together. We're going to take frog legs out. Okay, so extend, open, close, draw everything back down, but head stays down, legs stay up, flex those heels, raise it up, extend it out, lengthen, close together, bend, bring it in, rest that head, last one, extend out, flex your heels, open out, close in, bend, bring it back down. If you have a band, let's grab that. Tight, long band for me, please. And I want you to place both feet in, legs extended up. Let's go ahead and lower those legs down, raise it up. Lower down, raise up, feet in straps. Four, flex those heels. Three, two, and good. Let's hold it down there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Float your head up, knees come in, extend out. Four, three, two, frog legs, just like we did before. I'm gonna double up on that band. You can rest your head if you want. Five, four, three, two, and good. So I'm gonna take one leg, place it into my band. I'm going to take it over to one side, hold your stretch. So stretch it out my IT band, come up into center, over again, stretch it out, lengthen it out, four, three, two, come up into center, last one, take it over, hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, if you didn't notice I changed hands, changing hands again, let's open it up, inner thigh, I can't go very far because I have my mirror here, but Go as low as you feel comfortable with. Flex that heel, go five, four, three, two. Come into center, switch legs. So flex that heel, hold your stretch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. This should feel nice in the body. Cross it over, hold. Four, three, two, take it up. Ooh, that's tight on that side for me. One more, take it down. Come up into center, open that out, inner thigh stretch. In four, and three, and two, and good. Set your band to the side. We will be done with that for today. I want you to come up onto those wrists. 
You're gonna extend your legs out in front of you. I want you to lift up your hips, point those toes, flex takes you down. I'm gonna bring my hands in a little bit tighter, a little bit closer, point lift. Take it down, flex. Last one, strengthening out those wrists. Take it down, okay. Let's come onto your fists, and I want you to lift up your booty and tap down. So it's just a small movement, but we're stretching the front of the wrist. Four, up, three, up, two, up. Last one, draw your butt back behind your hands. I want you to push the wrist down. Push, stretching out those wrists. Just stretching out the upper back, five, four, three, Two, let's lengthen out, come forward. Five, four, three, two, and good. Okay, coming up onto all fours, coming up onto those elbows. I want you to lift your knees up and hold. We're gonna tap down and lift, tap down and lift. Eight, up seven, up six, up five, up four, up three, up two, hover down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, push your hips back, take child's pose for me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, coming onto those wrists, let's round it in and up. Neutral, stick your butt out, round in and up. Stick your butt out, two more. Okay. On that last one, I want you guys to float one knee up, circle it out, one direction, six, five, point that toe for four, three, two, reverse that, 12 count. Two more. Let's switch legs. Eight, from here, seven, six, five, four, three, two, reverse that. Four, three, two, good. Coming onto your side. We're gonna continue on with that. So I'm gonna float my knees up. I can do can be on your elbow or again, down by your side. Let's float that up. Float that knee up, pulse it. Little baby clamshells. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, close it in and out. 12 counts. So this is our, we're supersetting these muscles. If you guys aren't familiar with the term superset, it means that we work them in different ways so that they tire out. So feet are up, feet are back behind me. Four, Three, and so that they, when they break down, they build. Two, good, come into center. So we're staying on that same side. Let's lift that leg up, pulse it up. 10, nine, up eight, up seven, point that toe. Six, five, four, three, two. This is the last little bit. Let's take it down into child's pose. Take it up, let's stay up on those knees, pulse it up, almost there. Just have a little bit more to do, so working on that side booty today. Five, four, three, two, and good. Let's take it down, other side. Elevated, pulse it up. Breathing. Close it in. Feet up, so this is elevated clamshell, meaning this is an advanced version. Six, in five, in four, and three, and two, and good. All right, take it all the way down, face up. Let's draw one knee in, and take a figure four stretch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. If you can, pull that knee just a little bit deeper for me. Pull that hip in. And switching legs when you're ready. If one leg needs more tension, please listen to it, give it. Maybe pulling it in a little bit deeper. Five, four, three, two. I want to pull both knees in. And then let's take baby feet in. 
heels together. We would do this on the reformer at the end of class. Four, three, two. Gently draw yourself up. Lengthen those legs out. I have a soft bend in my knees. I'm going to reach down and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and good. I'm coming into center so that you guys can see me. I just lengthen one leg out. We're simply going to reach in, draw that knee in, flex that heel. Four, Three, two, let's take a spinal rotation by turning that gaze over your shoulder. Four, three, two, again, reaching a little bit deeper maybe this time. Maybe that hamstring just lightened up a little bit. Four, three, two, draw that in. Other side, flex that heel, reach, hold. Again, spine rotation. Reach a little bit deeper. Four, three, two. Let's just finish with hamstring stretches. I'm going to point my toes. I want you to reach forward, not down. Five, four, three, two. As you come up, I want you to flex those heels. There's a reason I'm asking you to do that. Point lower. You want to know why? <laughs> You're like, why? Because you probably already know that you can feel that stretch deeper and you get a calf stretch when you flex those heels. Last one, flex, lift. For all my runners out there or walkers, that's for you. Okay, saw, and then we will do mermaid, and then we'll wrap it up for today. Arms out to a T. Let's reach over, flip that back palm up. Try to cut off that pinky toe in four. Big flex in those heels in three and two. Come up nice and tall. Other side, four, three, two, and good. On that one count, palms facing into the center. I want you to reach forward and hold. Big flex in those heels for me. Five, four. Three, two, and good. You can be seated like this or stacked. Whatever feels better for you today. Let's finish with mermaid. Reach over, take it down, reach and hold. We're gonna do three each side. Push up, reverse yourself. That's pretty standard uh, Pilates math class. You do usually three sets of these. Reach over, take it down and hold. I was thinking we didn't do a plank today, but we did. Did a bunch of it, right? Kind of. Ish. Plank ish. Last one, reach over, make it a little bit deeper. Hold. Come on up. Okay, switch it up. Pull on me. Reach over. Hold. Over. One more, lengthen, over, reverse, final set, a little deeper maybe, come on to all fours, stretch it out, lift up, tuck those toes under, walk it in. If you can be down, please be down. I'm up on my fingertips. Try to stretch out that low back. Five, four, three, two. Drop your heels down, lengthen up. Let's stack that spine. Finishing with your breath work. Three, two, and good. Facing into the center, inhale, lifts you up, finishing like I always do, which is one arm, at least for Matt, one arm over to the side, jump that hip out. Come up a little bit taller, pull on that wrist, opposite. Come into center, final roll down, shake out those legs, relax those legs for me, lift up, grow tall in that spine, push that energy out. Ground down, shaking that head no, shaking that head yes, soft bend in your knees, push through that spine, come on, all the way top, and that will do it for today. Everyone, thank you so much, and we will see you next time, hopefully, with a good internet. Yeah, great class, Lynn. Okay, so this is our, I think this is our fix here, so. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh,
Oh, anyways, I was going to try and show the video that we posted on our uh, Facebook page. I was going to say, hopefully it wasn't too early for the uh, technology dance, but uh, we're going to roll with this. Hopefully a squirrel doesn't chew through our internet line here by tomorrow morning. So tune in for Lynn tomorrow for the uh, Dirty 30 at, uh, what time we have, Lynn? 10? 10, right? Okay. Then we have Mary Beth coming up today at 4.30. Have a great Friday, everybody.